seeing the same thing every day isn't fun anymore. This is what we call a full turnkey rotisserie restoration, but it's custom from one end to the other. Looking for the ultimate no expense spared resto mod truck builders? Well look no further because we have found the dream team. I'm Cody from Velocity Restorations. We're looking at a 1979 International Harvester Scout. We actually found this truck in West Texas. It was an all original truck. It was a family owned vehicle that was garage kept. We brought it back here. We did a full analysis of the truck. We stripped it all down to bare metal. Some small patch panels had to be done. Then it was off to the body shop. We sharpened all the gaps, got the truck laser straight, put the beautiful orange PPG paint job that you see on it. And then we started bolting all of our custom parts onto it. The build on this truck cost about $275,000. This is what we call a full turnkey rotisserie restoration, but it's custom from one end to the other. And this award-winning crew have spec this Scout to the max. We put in a 430 horse LS3 engine in it, 4L70E transmission, got all the drivetrain hooked together, fuel tank, electronics. Custom made the bumpers from scratch. We added an LED light bar Got our color match intake we did to match the exterior paint on the truck. Really wanted to give this truck a custom look under the hood. Built the roll cage here, designed it from scratch. I don't think there's another Scout with this style of roll bar in it. Wiring the dash. Custom air intake. The exhaust. Added larger tires. We took the original stripe and made our own version of it. Fuel tank, electronics. Shackle reversal in the front. It's all about the detail and the time invested into making it right. The entire tub and sheet metal is original, believe it or not. It's very hard to get panels for this truck, so we were very lucky to be able to save all this. It's important to keep the original look of the truck, because if you start changing too many features, you don't stay true to the brand. Unsurprisingly, a build of this quality attracts a great deal of attention when it hits the streets. I want this color, though. I don't even like orange. I didn't expect it does not it. Look okay. up at the undercarriage, it's clean as a whistle, man. I mean, clean. It's badass. <laughs> it's a good truck, man. Yeah. I'll tell you. If I had 300 to spare, I'd purchase it. Seeing the same thing every day isn't fun anymore. So being able to customize a different type of vintage truck is really starting to become a craze. And this vehicle is the perfect combination of late 70s style and up-to-date tech. It's got AC, it's got modern amenities, you know, we can take all the old school out of the feel and the drive and add our modern drivetrain, our modern gauges, leather seats, and give it the feel of a modern vehicle, but have the look of a classic truck. And that's what seems to be the most appeal to it to everybody. This is the best time to actually drive a truck like this. The weather's great, it's sunny out, we've got a really nice bikini top, it's open air. What's better than driving a classic truck in just the sun and wind in your hair? <laughs>